another very common issue we have is audio being on just one side of the stereo image. Perhaps it's just on the right side or it's just on the left side. Perhaps you've boomed into input one external of the camera and input two has had no mic connected or vice versa. So you've got audio on one side of the camera only. It's not necessarily a mistake. It's just something that we have to correct so that we have uh, our, all of our audio in a stereo image nice and centered for the dialogue. Particularly dialogue needs to be nice and centered. So Basil Samin has very kindly donated this footage to me so that I can demonstrate it to you in this workshop um, because it is all on the right side of the clips. And I'm going to show you probably the fastest way to balance this out is to select all of the clips, right click, and you want to go to audio channels and you set the left and right side of your clip to be pulling from the right of the channel. And as you can see, it duplicates the right side across and the left side as well. And now, if I was to play the clip. Team's losing, mate. You hear it in mono, whereas before, you only would have heard it in one ear. So that's a really handy way to do that. Another way to do that um, that you may not know of is by using the audio track mixer, which you should be able to see nice and clearly if you've got audio selected up in the workspaces. I like to just demonstrate switching workspaces so that you're aware of how, how easy it is to go between different editing modes. Perhaps you're doing some coloring in the editing view, uh, or you go back to audio and you've got all of your audio settings there. So you can be quite confident with these and you can edit your own workspaces and you can make custom workspaces as well. So very handy and of course you know you can drag and drop tabs around and you can have them appear in different places. That being said, here's a great way um, to apply an effect and to make a change across an entire audio track. Audio one here, let's just say that's the dialogue. Let's call it DX dialogue. Usually you have your dialogue tracks first. You might have dialogue one, two, three, four. You might have effects one, two, three, four. AMB for ambient backgrounds, usually stereo files one, two, three, four and then music as well. We want all of our dialogue tracks to have centered audio here. So in the audio track mixer, there is this tiny triangle here that expands to show us the effects, which is really useful. You might be used to applying effects in this way, where you type in, let's say you want dynamics, where you type in an effect that you want for audio and it appears, or you manually just search it here, but actually it is smart to apply them through the track mixer view in the effects slots, which are the first five. These are sends, don't worry about these yet for now. In the effects slots, there is an effect um, under special that is fill left with right. Essentially it does what it says, it fills the left channel with the right side. So now if we play it, even though it hasn't actually duplicated the wave across there on the clip, it will actually play in stereo centered. So that's another way of doing the same thing.